Hey Mark, I just wanted to record a quick video uh, basically detailing what I would do in Blender in order to bake the details from your road onto a more simplified plane. So let's assume that this is your road. This is a model I obtained online for free. Somebody was just giving it away on Sketchfab. Um, so I would create a plane like this and move it up. Then I'd scale it out roughly to the dimensions of the road. Now I know you mentioned that on one end of your road there was some sort of uh, drop or divot or something, so I'm just going to get this relatively close to the overall surface quality of it uh, and just kind of move this in place here. So let's make sure that this plane kind of covers the whole of our road, which I think it does more or less here now. And what I need to do is I need to apply my rotation scale, and then I can come in here and start to add in a little more geometry to give the surface of the road um, just a little more detail. So I'll put in a cut right here and just gonna move this up. Now in your case, if there's a dip, obviously you wouldn't move it up, you just move it down. It's completely up to you. Uh, basically just base this geometry on however your road appears or looks. So that's roughly an approximation there. And then let's do the same thing to the other side here. So here, I'll take this and take the, just move that up a little bit and maybe even move this over, oops, like that. And then now what I can do is I can smooth shade this. I want to make this geometry somewhat um, square, so I'm just gonna add in some more cuts. Just get it roughly square looking. I'll take the whole thing, press U, and unwrap. And that just gives me a UV map here to work with for texturing. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with the way that that looks. Again, I'm gonna apply my rotation and scale because I'm a little paranoid about that. And I'm gonna go into shading. So this plane obviously doesn't have a material on it, so I'm just gonna create one. I'm just gonna call this road underscore bake. And I'm gonna create two image textures here. I'm gonna do image texture one, and then I'll duplicate this as well. And then I'm gonna need a normal node, or normal map node, I should say. And we'll just connect this up to my normal right now. So we're gonna create two image textures, one of them. Now obviously make this whatever size you need it, so if you want a lot of resolution, crank it up to 4K if you're inclined, or 2K. I'm just going to stick with 10, 1024 or 1K. Um, I always turn off alpha because I'm not using transparency, and I'm just going to call this road underscore diff for diffuse. And then this other one, I'm going to call this one um, road underscore norm. That should be fine. Just hit OK. Now this road norm, I'm going to switch this from sRGB to non-color because we're baking non-color data. This one, uh, did I not? I guess I didn't commit that one. Uh, road underscore diff for this one, and just hit OK for that. And then this one will be color data, so I can leave that as sRGB because that's the color space I'm working in. If you're working in a different color space, obviously change that. So what I want to do is I want to select the original one, shift select the new one, make sure I have my diffuse node selected as well come over here and switch my engine to cycles, switch my device to GPU, uh, just because it's faster. Come down here to baking, use diffuse, and then turn off indirect and direct, select it to active, and then just hit bake. And what that'll do is it should bake out a color map that we'll see in the lower left-hand corner once it's done. So we'll just wait for that to finish real quick. Okay, there it is, it's done. So uh, obviously we would wanna save this. Um, I'm, I don't really need to save this, so I'm not gonna do that. You should immediately save this, otherwise you'll lose it. Um, so make sure you do that. And then if we connect that up there, you can see, boom, there's our road. Now here on the edge, it's got no color data to pick up. So um, if you don't want this here, you may want to shrink down your road or go edit it in Photoshop or some other program. Uh, for my purposes, this gets the point across. Now, the cool thing about this is now we have the texture of your road. The only problem is there are none of the normal data, so it looks very flat, um, which you may or may not want. This would be good for your road simulations, but if you want to take this to the next level, then we need to select the road norm, and we need to change our baking settings to normals. So let's look for normal. I'm just going to leave that at the uh, default settings, and then I'm just going to hit bake. All right, so now we have our normal map baked, and that was all in real time. I didn't actually pause the video. So now if we hook this up, you can see that now we're getting some normal detail that should change if we change the lighting settings. So if I rotate this, 
you can see that it is actually reacting to the light. If you want to take it even further, you can go ahead and create metallic and specular and roughness maps and all that fun stuff. I'm not going to go through all that. It seems a little bit overkill for this video. But more or less, this will react to the um, strength of the light, the rotation of it, the environment that you put around it, and then, of course, it contains all of the color data. So if I move this uh, baked road away from the original one, you can see we have our original one on the left and our baked one on the right. Although the one on the left is just way more dense, has way more detail, and this one on the right is a lot more flat and a lot more evenly distributed. So I hope that's helpful for you, and uh, if you've got any more questions, just leave them in the comment or send me an email, and I'll talk to you later. Take care.